The young man awoke to the smell of spring air. He looked up as a hummingbird flew into the room where he was sleeping and watched as a lizard skittered across the wall. He rolled over to check his pet grasshoppers. There were lots of grasshoppers around the village right now, and they were simple to catch and were easy pets. Seeing that his insect charges were okay, he decided to get up. His parents were sharing breakfast on the other side of the room where he slept, and he waved as he ran out the door into the village. Heading toward the village outskirts, he passed several of his neighbors' doorways, some of which were open. Being curious, he couldn't resist peering in to see what others were doing. One neighbor was busy inside while her two boys waited outside. The new couple across the way were awake and waved to him, but they had yet to get out of bed. They seemed busy, so he moved on. He passed one of the many dogs that lived in the village. He was trying to play with a small bird, jumping and barking as if the bird understood him. Heading toward the plaza, he passed a group of men that had gathered and were preparing for their day. Arriving at the village plaza, he saw a woman was already weaving new cloth and someone else had brought their baby out for some morning air. On the other side, a group of men were practicing their dancing. He found a group of men preparing to leave for hunting. They were dressed as antelope, so he figured that was the aim of the day's hunt. He followed them for a while and watched as one of them shot an antelope, which was then carried back to the village. The birds were plentiful this year and seemed to be everywhere. He spotted a turkey, and when looking in the distance he could see a whole gaggle of turkeys. A lone hunter was stalking these turkeys. I bet one of those would be good for dinner, he thought to himself. Perhaps he could get invited over for a little turkey dinner. In fact, food was much more plentiful this year. It was a good sign that the starvation of last year might not happen again this year. He suddenly heard a scream from the village. Someone was being attacked. He saw one hunter jump on a creature and try to wrestle it down. Then someone else jumped on another one of the creatures. As he was about to turn and run, another hunter raised his bow and shot. Wandering out of the village, he noticed caterpillars on the grass. As he watched, a bird flew in and snapped it up and flew off. The wind was coming up as he passed the runway. He could see several gliders were already set up and the glider pilots getting ready for their first flights. He watched as one strapped into his glider, then turning saw another taking off. Running down to the stream, he found his friends already swimming. Passing up the opportunity for a swim, he decided to go upstream looking for the fishermen. He saw turtles along the edge of pools and looking down saw a couple of the strange fertiles that had been bred. Fish seemed to be everywhere in the stream. He was sure men would be fishing. Just then a fish jumped. He watched in amazement as a bird dove right in behind it and caught it. He came upon the fishing expedition from the village. Men were catching fish with their nets and gear. One man was waving his catch in the distance so he could see that they were having good luck. He realized it was getting late and turning for home he saw a rabbit moving through the grass. He really liked rabbit. And as he looked closer, he saw several others in the tall grass. He wished he had something to hunt the rabbits with. They were tasty, but it was getting late. Where had the day gone? <laughs>